Hi, this is Simon from Lincolnshire in the UK, and you're watching Trucker Josh. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. say good morning to you but it is already evening it's after supper already and we're just getting going so I went home for a uh, Saturday night I got home <clears throat> and today is Sunday so I stayed home for the day today and now I've got to get my butt over to like, Brandon or somewhere in western Manitoba eastern Saskatchewan somewhere there so that I can get to Alberta Camrose Alberta tomorrow evening because I got to deliver there the day after on Tuesday morning Oh, home time was fun. The creek is really high. I showed you that in yesterday's vlog, right? I hope I, I hope that clip worked out because it was incredible. That creek is more like a, a river than anything else now. I don't know what that beaver's gonna do. He's gonna have quite the job building that dam up. I'm kind of hoping that it sort of tore that thing apart, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen a beaver dam up in like in real life, right up close, like actually gone and touched it. Those things are intricate. It's like they would be great uh, like knitters or crocheters because the way that they interweave all those sticks together and with the mud and they actually build the mud up against it and it's it's impressive what those beavers can do. Man, but we got water out here though. Apparently it was uh, thanks to our good friends in America, they sent us up a whole bunch of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So I guess we could technically thank Mexico down there for sending that up to us. Thank you very much. We needed it. The last couple of years have been really dry, so it's nice to have a good dumping of water on us again. And it wasn't too much either. We got enough now. You guys can turn the taps off. But yeah, that came up from the Gulf of Mexico apparently, straight north, right up to the Hudson's Bay. Everyone got nailed with it. Remember that day when I was driving through that heavy rain? That was the day before it arrived here. So then it was down in Iowa. The next day it had been pushed north up into Canada and it hit us. And now we're getting a whole new uh, creek cut through our property. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see what it all looks like when it goes back down or if it will go back down. I'd like it to stay that high, but. It's really going to eat away at our soil and at the riverbanks. So the load we got is uh, that load of steel that I picked up in Evansville, Wisconsin. Someone in Alberta is building something. They needed some Wisconsin steel, so that's where I come in. I'll bring it to you. I don't know what you're building, but hope you have fun because, you know, I feel like I was a part of it now. Couldn't build a building unless I brought it to you. I know you could just hire someone else to do it, but hey, let me feel special. I can feel special and important, right, Diesel? Hey. Just a little while later. Well, let's grab some fuel because I am below a quarter tank on diesel fuel and on my diesel exhaust fluid. The last place I was at fueling, uh, where was that? Was that in Wisconsin? Wherever that was, they didn't have DEF. Fuel it up today. And then I don't know how far we'll go. At least to Brandon. At least Brandon. See how I feel though. The lights in the distance. Brandon, Manitoba. On the west, oh, southwest side of the province right now. I am stopping here for the night. 11.30 p.m. So it means that from the time I finish my post trip after I stop, I have eight hours before I can get rolling again. I will be here for longer than that. I am going to take a good night's rest. From here I have 1,087 kilometers that I need to get behind me tomorrow. I that I can do it in a day, because in Canada here I've got 13 hours to get it done in. 13 hours of driving to get it done in tomorrow. And from when I start my day I've got 16 hours to drive those 13 hours. Does that make sense? Went right over your head, didn't it? It's okay, don't worry about it. 
so uh, by the time I stop, it'll be uh, about 10 minutes or so. We're going up to the Husky up ahead here. Hopefully no one's in my spot. Park ourselves for the night. Gonna go into the back there. I'm gonna watch some YouTubes. Maybe I'll watch a Netflix episode or two. I'm into uh, the 100 series right now. So that's what it's called. It's called the 100. I'm only on season one. But we'll see. I downloaded a bunch of episodes at home so I can watch them in the truck here. Doesn't use data that way. Alrighty, alrighty. So I used to stop at the Esso on the right hand side here all the time because they have a Tim Hortons there, but they only have like 10 parking spots available there. And Husky on the left side here has a good, I don't know, 50, I'd say, maybe, maybe 75. I don't know, it's like a gravel parking lot. So there's as many parking spots as people make available. As long as you all park straight, you could fit probably 75, but the way most people park here, you could probably fit about 50. Karen's gonna yell at me right away. What are you doing? Stay on the main road. What are you doing? I didn't tell you to turn. Why don't you ever listen to me? I feel like you ignore me all day. Huh? Sorry, Karen, I wasn't listening. Oh, nobody's in my spot. Nice. Nice. Oh, wait, is somebody in my spot? Somebody dropped a trailer in my spot. They're not even here. Why would you leave your trailer in my spot? Right underneath this light in front of us here, that's my spot. No one ever parks there and I always park there. It's nice and quiet. Somebody dropped a trailer there. Where am I supposed to park? Didn't I put my name on it? Doesn't it say Trucker Josh's spot? No? Oh, I forgot to put my name on it, I guess. Yeah, they dropped the trailer. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Let's uh, find a different spot then, I guess. I could always park beside the trailer. Yeah, I'll park beside the trailer, whatever. I just gotta go do a U-turn and come back. I don't know why these guys are parked so far up. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but maybe I can park in my backup parking spot my second parking spot. I have two spots here. I put my name on both of them. You guys don't always read them though. Right beside this Peterbilt here. If I can fit in beside him, that is my second spot. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. And no one's in my second spot. Okay, good. Good. Well, thanks guys. At least you left one of my spots open for me. What is this guy doing parked here like this, though? This is what I mean. Truck stops in Canada. People just park everywhere. Every which way. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I care. This guy here, he's right in the driveway. He's right in the freaking way. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said freaking. It's tired. What? I'm grumpy. Or it's tired, it's late. I'm tired, I'm grumpy. There you go, let me park. Someone was in my parking spot too, jeez. Nice, I get to sleep right beside the highway to all the sounds of the trucks rolling past. I love the song of the tires. It's like the song of my people. So I got my screen in here. People have asked me where I've gotten these before. I got them on Amazon. I forget what they're called. But you can, uh, they're, they're just a universal size. And then all these lines, oh, you can't see it here right now. It's too dark. Anyways, you can make it fit any truck pretty much. I found them on Amazon. Uh, and that way you can have the window open, but the bugs don't come in, right? Oh yeah. So I am happy after all. Uh, we did get a park in our spot. Our, I actually sort of like this spot better. This, this spot lets me hear the sound of the trucks rolling past bonus so we're right on the edge here that guy still parked right in the middle of the driveway uh, okay but here's our load got a nice street light right there lighting it up I know my camera's not picking it up right now I'll have to show you in the morning I don't know if you can see me or not but 
Thanks for watching today, everybody. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the thumbs down if you thought it was terrible. Go for it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's on your mind. Give me your best shot. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.